hello and welcome back to the channel so another very very curious situation has come across my feed and this one is the story of a prince uh, this prince at age 51 left here suddenly unexpectedly meaning he wasn't sick no one expected this at all but it happened so I'm going to share with you the details um, of the story of this prince uh, we've been hearing these kinds of narratives a lot lately now of course they don't really want you to attach anything to it unless there are specifics with a particular case in this case we are not seeing any specifics so let's share the details that are available. Uh, this is by way of CBS News website. Uh, prince Constantin, the youngest son of the reigning prince of Liechtenstein, Hans Adam II, um, according to the article, says he died suddenly this week says the Pricely House said in a statement Wednesday that he was 51 years old. Uh, the Pricely House regrets to announce that Prince Constantine of Liechtenstein passed away unexpectedly on December 5th, 2023, the statement said. Uh, Constantine was seventh in line to the throne. Uh, the statement provided no cause of his demise. No cause. Uh, Constantine's Elden eldest brother heredity prince Alois is destined to succeed Hans Adam II as the reigning prince of Liechtenstein a tiny principality nestled between Austria and Switzerland with nearly 40,000 inhabitants Constantine leaves behind his wife uh, Prince Marie of Liechtenstein and his children Prince Moritz Prince Georgina and Prince Benedict it added. According to the statement, uh, he also served as chairman of the supervisory board of the Liechtenstein Group, uh, the largest royal family owned private banking and asset management group in the world. According to local news, Vaterland, the state parliament held a minute's silence, and apostolic administrator Benno Elbos paid his respects to the royal family after Constantine's death. On behalf of the Archdiocese of Vaduz, I would like to express my heartfelt condolences to SD Prince Hans Adam II, the wife of the deceased, Princess Marie, and their children, Princess Moritz, Princess Georgina, and Prince Benedict Elbs, said in the statement. Elbs said the churches in Liechtenstein rang their bells to honor the prince, Vaterlin reported. So, hmm, this is another case where the family did not expect it. Uh, when they went to bed that evening and rose the next day, it was not expected that the prince would no longer be here. This was suddenly, this was unexpected. And there are many reports um, around the world surrounding um, these unexpected or sudden demises of people in, in all walks of life red yellow black white it doesn't matter we've been hearing these reports um, again in this case there was no official cause given um, so no one can point to anything um, there is a lot of speculation uh, surrounding a number of these these deaths right um, a lot of fact checkers have um, taken to the internet to uh, diffuse um, a lot of the conspiracy theorists um, who want to point to particular things but in reality um, many of these cases are not telling you or pointing to any particular thing uh, they're just either saying suddenly or unexpectedly and that's that right so all of the speculation comes from those um, who um, are pointing to what they believe is um, a, a change in the world's environment over the past three years and so they're trying to see if there's any type of correlation to that at all 
is there any correlation um, to the events over the past three or four years and uh, the rise in these unexpected uh, departures of people. Uh, so uh, there have been many uh, reports, I mean a lot of athletes, young people, middle-aged people, old people, teenagers, it doesn't matter, um, different racial groups, different parts of the world. Uh, this is happening and people are talking, people have questions. Um, of course, uh, there are many reports where people are feeling uh, left in the dark because no one really wants to answer their questions. Uh, we are hearing a lot of um, people um, affiliated or attached to the system uh, saying that they don't have any answers, but they will not allow people to speculate. Um, no one can draw their own conclusion. No one can point to what they think it could or might be. You simply have to just deal with the fact that it's happening, numbers are increasing, people are leaving here, folk have questions, but as far as answers, leave it up to the professionals. And if they don't have an answer for you, leave it be. That's pretty much what it is. It is what it is. Now many of us have thoughts as to what things could be, right? I like to point back to the Bible. The Bible gives us very specific uh, prophecies concerning the last days. Um, it did say that there's pretty much going to be a biblical uh, purging, right? Uh, those vials that have been opened up and poured out of heaven by the angels talks about how people aren't going to be leaving here. As a matter of fact, the Bible says two-thirds of the earth's population. That's really, really frightening when you think of the number of people who are alive on the earth today. So, that being said, my advice to you is to repent and pray that you are counted worthy to escape the things that are coming to pass upon the earth. And with that, I will say, see you on the next video. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.